All right, Kyle, I've been watching some of the interviews you've been engaging in. Hopefully your handler allows you to see this video. But whatever the case, you've been telling people you're going to plan on destroying the rifle that you used that night once you get custody of it. I believe at this point it's probably still in police custody because of Dominic Black's trial that's going to be coming out at some point if he loses the appeal that I know Binger is going to file in January. Whatever the case, your decision to destroy the rifle is absolutely horrible. What the hell are you thinking? Who's telling you this? I'm going to tell you the reason why you should not destroy the rifle here. And if you end up doing it anyway, well, hell, I've done my part. Number one, you don't know what kind of finances you're going to have in the future. None of us know. You might be stone cold broke. And you might have a mother who needs help paying her medical bills or something. You don't know what kind of financial strain you're going to be in. That rifle is worth a fortune. I'd give you $10,000 right now for it. And why? Because I could turn around and sell it for fifty. Put it up for auction, and who knows how much you could sell it for. Uh, they just sold a German submachine gun for like over a million dollars. And now they have the opportunity to sell what, the, probably the most famous rifle in American history beyond John Wilkes Booth's pistol? Or Lee Harvey Oswald's sniper rifle? By the way, your rifle is more famous than Oswald's. I would bet you 5%, maybe 1% of the people that you polled could tell you what make and model that thing was. Hell, I forgot. I think it was made in Belgium or something like that. But everybody knows the AR-15 that you carried. A gun collector, by the way, gun collectors have money, and they spend their money on weapons, and they will spend a lot of money on weapons. Who knows how much that would fetch? But they are certainly more than willing to, to spend it. Imagine, in their possession, Kyle Rittenhouse's AR-15 rifle. Wow. So, yeah. Destroying the rifle? Yeah, okay, I could just see that. Um, let's say 20 years from now, and uh, you have one of your sisters could really need some help paying for some medical bills, or maybe you. Suppose that you end up having to pay for some medical bills, but you don't have the money. And, gee, you could have had a lot of money, but no, you had to destroy the rifle for what? As some sort of weird symbolic act to signify what? I have no idea. And that brings up the next point. The rifle represents the Second Amendment. It represents self-defense. It's a symbol. And you're going to destroy it? Think of the message that would send. All those people that are watching your interviews and that have extolled you as a hero, frankly, I never did. I think that you're more just a regular kid to me. But all those people who looked up to you and you're going to destroy the very thing that you used to protect your life that night. These people are all about the Second Amendment. They're all about self-defense. And that rifle is a symbol of it. And what are you going to do? You're going to destroy it. Okay, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Sure. There's another reason. You claimed that that rifle saved your life. And destroying it would prove to everybody that it didn't. You would be making the perfect argument for all those who think you're guilty. You see there, even Kyle Rittenhouse admits he shouldn't have had the gun that night. He couldn't wait to get his hands on it to destroy it because he knows fully well he shouldn't have had it. And it's that gun that caused all the trouble. Kyle feels guilty about what happened. And you can tell because he destroyed the very thing that he used to kill those three innocent men. You would be acknowledging to everybody watching that gun did not save your life that night. I mean, how could it have? I mean, if it saved your life, you would definitely not destroy it, right? If something saved my life, I'm not going to destroy it. Now, finally, I have the best argument for not destroying the rifle. You ready for this? And if this doesn't work, then I, have, then I give up. Destroying the rifle would make Thomas Claire Binger's day. Binger could then go and claim victory. 
he could say, you know what? Yeah, I wasn't able to convict him, but I was able to get a gun off the street. I inflicted so much guilt into that kid that once he got a hold of that rifle, he had to destroy it. So thanks to me, I was able to get another gun off the street. It can never kill again. Because, you know, that was the real problem that night. It wasn't really so much the kid. It was the rifle. It's that AR-15. We need to ban them. Even Kyle Rittenhouse admits that they are evil. He destroyed it. He's telling everybody that these guns are a real problem. And so Thomas Claire Binger would claim victory. And why? Because you made a foolish decision. Don't do it. Contact Ian McCollum over at Forgotten Weapons. See about getting it loaned to a museum so that you can retain ownership of it. Or if you really need the money, go ahead and put it into an auction. I have no idea how much it would fetch, but I'm thinking well over $100,000. Or you can just choose to not listen to me. After all, what the hell do I know, right? Like my video, subscribe to my channel.